New England Gardening here. It's Thursday, February 13th, and this is getting old. It's really coming down, but I think this is a sign that it's about to turn over to rain. The real accumulation is going to be north of me. I guess I don't mind. It's just hopefully it's not going to be too slushy here for the snow blower. Might have to do it by hand. But what gets me through the winter here is some progress on some fig cuttings. So let's take a look at some fig cuttings. Man, these flakes are really getting big. Come on, spring. Even the birds are in hiding. So here's the bin setup I have with the one small orchid in there, giving it some extra humidity. And I've got one fig cutting in here. And I've been concentrating on watching to see if the bud was opening up and sure enough I started seeing some green the other day. So I got real excited. And I've been taking the cover off uh, once a day and get some fresh air in there. Just didn't pay attention to the roots and then all of a sudden I noticed all these roots today. So I did not put an order in to UC Davis this year for fig cuttings. I did try to sneak in an order for some grape cuttings. Uh, and it was late, so I'm not certain if I'll get those or not. But I thought I was pretty much done with new varieties. I have everything that I'm pretty much interested in. But then I saw this variety and uh, I was starting to get interested in it and it came up on eBay so I won the auction for this and that was back in November of last year and you can see here I put these in the bin on January 29th uh, one thing about the auction there was uh, one of the cuttings was a shoot that was close to the soil level so it had developed roots so I thought was that was going to be a good deal and that's the one that I ended up putting in the cup here and I put it in the cup, I think, on the 29th also. So these were in the refrigerator for two months. You know, people ask, well, how long is it going to take for roots? Well, it just depends on the variety, the quality of the cuttings, and where you are, you know. Um, so I was surprised to see these roots. I was concentrating on the bud, and uh, it looks like it still might have a couple of days, and then I'll have the leaf coming out. And I've been keeping the humidity up. But I looked in the bin, and I think even though I have some cuttings that don't have roots, I'm going to put them all into cups in this nice loose mixture here, and just keep the humidity up. So I don't know if I remember correctly, we have the Black Madeira, the King of Figs, and this Basilica Sika is supposed to be the Queen of Figs. It's supposed to be a really nice variety, and I've seen pictures of the fig, it looks very nice. So let's take a look at this one cutting that I've started and the progress that I have on it so far. So this actually is not where I have the bin. I do keep it off the floor. You'd be surprised how much colder it is on the floor. But I do not keep it next to a radiator and uh, no heat whatsoever. Just uh, concentrating on the humidity and exchanging some fresh air once a day in the bin. So I did not notice these roots until today. So let's get a close-up of the bud. You see it just starting to open. So there are the roots. Nice light mixture of bark. I don't even have perlite in there, just some little bit of soil in the agway bark. I'm glad I went to that, took someone's advice and found an agway near me. Did not know there was one within an hour distance of me. So let's take a look at the ones that I put in the bin. 
I let these roots go a little bit too far. Seemed like it was almost overnight. So it was a good deal on this auction because the, the seller was throwing in some extra varieties too. So this one here, I kind of wish I just put these straight into the the bin. It's got a lot of roots there that are just going to break off. Get that in a cup. This mix is so light, it's almost like you're just suspending the, um, the roots or the cutting in air. You know, there's all these cavities in this mix, and it'll build up humidity without being waterlogged. So I'll give that a soaking also. And a label. And this will go into the bin. Here I have three black Greek. I already broke the lone root that was on this one, but looks like there's some initials, root initials on that. I'll get these all into cups. Some small roots there. And one small root on this one. So here are three Pennsylvania Wild cuttings with some root initials or some root starting. So these seem to be doing good. And the buds have broken. So if you leave them in the bin with the moss longer, they'll just that will start to rot. So I'll get these into cups. So it's a Pennsylvania Wild. So I've got root initials on this. And I'm thinking this is a German variety. Violetta Iron Fig Figa or Austrian. I, don't know. I got two of those. Get those in the cups. And I have two green cuttings of black Spanish. I don't know if they're going to make it or not. But we'll put these in cups. I don't even see any initials on there. So this is what I end up with when I'm not looking to acquire any more varieties. It's a good thing I'm not looking. Well, I'm glad I have them all in the cups and in the bin. Don't have to worry about them in the in the moss. So we'll see what happens from here. At least I have the variety that I was interested in, the Basilla. Basilica Sica. 
and anything else that makes it is a bonus. So it might be winter outside, but these figs make it bearable, or at least what I have growing inside. Can't wait for the first flower spike on this orchid here. So let me get the top back on this, get the light on and get the humidity up. I took the towel off the bottom there because uh, all these extra containers in here, these cups will help maintain the humidity. So I should see some good progress in a couple of weeks and we'll revisit this. Should have uh, nice leaves on this Basilica Sica, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And the rest should follow. So I think it's starting to turn over to rain. I might have to get out there before it gets too heavy to use the snow blower. But I've got the figs inside and it makes this a little bit more bearable. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.